Welcome to Haunting with Hex. Welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Mike Slinkard. This week's episode is a very special one for me. You know, my family has a long hunting history, and today's show, we're going to tag along with three generations of the Slinkard family. First, we're going to join my dad, Bob, as he challenges the senses of a giant old mule deer buck in our home state of Oregon. Then, my daughter, Caitlin, and I travel to Colorado to do some spot and stock hunting for wary mule deer out in the high Rocky Mountains. In true Slinkard tradition, we're going to do it with archery gear. And that means we'll have to use our hex technology to get close and close that distance. As always, you'll see it all right here on Hunting with Hex. Closing the distance, calmer game, better shots, happier memories. It's what we all crave. It's what we all desire. It's what we all dream about. The close range, fair chase encounter with wild game is the essence of the hunting experience. Join us as we chronicle the evolution of concealment, testing skill, knowledge, technology, and equipment. Becoming the ultimate close range predator. Oh, the close up experience here on Hunting with Hex. First up is my dad, Bob. At age 74, the mountains are getting steeper every year, and he's taken to hunting smarter, not harder. On this hunt, we decided to hunt in a ground blind over a water hole where we've been seeing some elk in the evenings. I'm along as cameraman, and we settled back for a relaxing evening in the woods. You know, we started out looking for elk here, but when this ancient old muley buck shows up, we quickly switch gears. This is a monster buck for our area, and any thoughts of elk went out the window, and Dad gets ready so he can take a shot if he gets an opportunity. Like I said, I'm the cameraman on this hunt, and I'm just positive that Dab's gonna slam this big old buck. He's totally relaxed and feeding along without a care in the world. He's completely oblivious that he's got a hunter and a cameraman sitting only a few yards away. When the buck gets in good position, Dad draws his bow. I'm all ready for the shot when he whispers to me that he can't see through his peak. You know, it looks light here on the camera, but inside the blind, it's dark. Not wanting to risk a bad hit, Dad lets down. Obviously, that makes a lot of noise, and the buck locks onto the sound. Dad's shoulders are not as good as they used to be, and he just can't let down slowly, and his arrow actually falls off the bow and rattles to the ground. This is where Hex played a role big time. Instead of busting away like you'd expect, the buck just stands there and looks. can see through my peep. I just couldn't find it. I'm gonna give it another try. He don't even know we're around here. Uh, it's just too dark. I can't see my peep. Once again, Dad still can't sleep clearly. And he has to let down for the second time. This isn't a yearling deer. This is a wise old mature buck that's been chased for years by hunters. He didn't get this big by being stupid. Yet, using the hex technology, the buck stands in front of us and lets dad draw and let down, not once, not twice, but three times before he finally wanders down the hill and out of sight, and he wasn't even spooked. Yeah, that's a pretty good buck. Man, I'd like to cut him, but I just couldn't get on him. Peep uh, sight, just uh, couldn't see my pins in it. So I didn't want to take a chance of crippling him, so I just let down on him, let him go, maybe at another time. Hunting with Hex is brought to you by Game Hide. Hunting where is all we do. NorthAmericanHuntingCompetition.com. Have you entered yet? Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls and UC Hunting Properties. PSE Archery. Gold Tip, the toughest arrow you'll ever shoot. Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Trophy Taker and Spot Hog. And by Hex Stealth Screen, the evolution of concealment. 
Hi, I'm Riley Elliott, marine biologist. And I'm Forrest Galante, wildlife expert. Now, we want to show you how the Higgs technology blocks 95% of your body's electrical signals given off by muscle movement. What we have here is a scientific instrument capable of measuring the electrical magnetic energy leaving the muscle groups of the body. Now, we're going to get Forrest to put his arm over top of a signal sensor. Now, as he does this, you'll see that the needle goes all the way off the scale registering that energy his body's given out. Now when we apply the hex fabric, which is a carbon yarn put into this material that is specifically designed for the human wavelength of energy we give off, you'll see that this needle barely moves. It's basically the same technology that's in the door of your microwave. Which is called the Faraday cage. As he goes over, the needle barely registers. Being a shark scientist working with animals that specifically pick up electrical energy, to detect prey or predators. I've seen significant reduction in their threat displays or in their um, approach distances, allowing me to get more natural and closer encounters. And for anyone else wearing this suit or this technology, I think we'll have the same effect too. If you order right now and enter the promo code PURSUED, you'll save an instant $30 off your hex suit. Well, as you might imagine, Bob Slinkard is now on a mission to take that buck. We'll see how he does right after this. Welcome back to Hunting with Hacks. Before the break, we watched as Bob Slinkard had an encounter with a big old muley buck. Unfortunately, it was too dark in the blind to see his peep sight, and he had to let the buck walk. I, I couldn't see through my peep. Several more days went by, and we started getting trail camera pictures of this buck on another water hole not too far away. It didn't take long for Dad to switch gears, move everything over, and set up in the new area. I'm gone hunting with Caitlin, so my mom takes over as cameraman. I'm going to sit right here, right outside the blind, and hopefully the buck will come in right out there, and hopefully it's right there, and uh, sit out here and see if I can uh, stick an arrow in him and, and get him because I'm there is nothing hiding me and uh, we'll find out how good this hex is. The hours slowly tick away as they always do when you're sitting in a stand on the ground. Several other animals made their way past his location including this group of turkeys. Finally as it's getting close to the end of shooting light dad spots the buck coming in his direction. Now my dad can't shoot sitting on the ground, so he has to stand up and get ready as this buck approaches. With light fading fast, dad's gonna take the first good shot opportunity he gets. In the light, I got my second chance. He went about 50 yards over there and piled up. Tonight we Funny, waited him out and he gave me a shot. And I nailed him good, so I got my revenge. You know, in this case, Hex made all the difference. It was actually darker this time than the first time when Dad couldn't see through his peep. But by trusting the Hex technology, he was able to get away with sitting outside the blind, actually standing up outside the blind, where he could see his sights better and make a great shot, even though it was actually darker than before. And now, it's time for this week's Hex Close-Up. This week's Hex Close-Up is sent in by the Holder family. You've probably heard of them. They have an award-winning show called Race Hunting. But David and his family have been using Hex for years, and the results have been incredible. Why do we wear Hex? Why not? You know, Hex is not one of those products like a bow, where when the bow goes off, you know it's working. Um, it, it's one of those products that I can't put my finger on it, but does it work? Absolutely. When we're in a hunting scenario, we have our hex on. Uh, a few years ago, Easton wanted to reap a turkey. Um, the kid crawls across the field. He, he gets within three or four feet of this turkey. Um, now granted, he's behind a decoy and someone could say, well, it was coming to the decoy. But why didn't the turkey figure this out that there was someone behind it or around it or I don't know. In my opinion, Hex is allowing us to get that little extra out of our hunts. And this particular scenario, 
Easton didn't kill a turkey, but it wasn't because of his hex or his bow or anything else. He just got too close. A couple years ago, Warren kills his first elk, but prior to him killing that, the bull he should have killed him. We don't know why he didn't get a shot, because the bull was at seven or eight yards. At least if you ask Warren, what happened was dad made one too many calls, because when I called, I ran the bull off. But again, hex, I believe, is what allowed us to get that animal in that close. Not that our calls didn't work and our camo didn't work to get the bull coming, but once they get that close, they should be picking up that we're there. Um, and then this year, I turn around and I go to Canada and I sit on the ground and I'm hunting bears. And people will say, again, you have bait there, the bears want to come to the bait. Obviously, that is the case. But when you also have bears that are coming over and they are within three and four feet, you're having to watch all around you because you could tell these bears couldn't tell what I was. So I wouldn't suggest that everyone go out and test their hex product like this, but uh, I will say it's a testimonial for hex that you can get close to anything. And then the last one, the one that I think probably more people are doing than anything is whitetail deer hunting. We wear hex every time we're in a tree stand, every time we're in a ground blind. And I had a particular instance this year that just flat out the hex worked too good. The, this deer comes into three feet. He was two and a half steps from the bottom of my ladder. And if I don't make some kind of noise for him to move, I can't shoot him because he never has a clue that me and a cameraman, there's two of us up there both wearing the Hex products and neither one of us are picked up on by this deer. Finally, I have to make a little bit of a sound so that he looks up at me. When he looks up, it may, causes him to move his rack enough that I now have a clear shot at his vitals. So when people ask us, does Hex work? Yes, Hex works. Thanks again to the Holder family and Raised Hunting for sending in this week's Hacks Close Out. Hunters across the country and around the world are raving about the experiences that they're seeing while using their hex suits. You know, science has found that animals, birds, and fish are able to pick up on minor electrical changes in their electrical environment. A lot of the initial study was done on how birds, animals, and fish navigate. It's what really runs the internal compass. They're picking up that minor change in the Earth's electromagnetic field. Well, every living being also creates an electrical field that's very similar. Through heart rate and muscle movement, we're creating electrical fields that are traveling distance. And we now know that that's one of the ways when animals get in close, they know that they're close to another big living being. That's when the other senses go on alert and things get real tough if you're out there in the hunting woods. If you look closely at the fabric, you'll see a highly electrically conductive carbon yarn woven in a specific grid pattern. This electrically conductive carbon yarn is sized and shaped to block the electrical energy that's created by our body. By blocking these electrical fields, you're going to look more like an inanimate object than you ever thought possible. You know, visual camo and scent control is still important, but the HEX technology gives you an advantage that you've never had before. If you haven't experienced the HEX advantage for yourself, don't delay. Get a HEX suit on the way, because it's going to make a difference in your next hunt. If you order right now and enter the promo code PURSUED, you'll save an instant $30 off your HEX suit. As an added bonus, if you order right now with each purchase of a complete HEX suit, you'll receive a certificate worth $250 off on a trip with Great Texas Hunts. When we come back, the crew heads to Colorado and some even crazier Hex encounters. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. Before the break, we watched as Bob Slinker got a redo on an old Oregon mule deer buck. Now we load up and head to Colorado, where Mike and his daughter Caitlin hope to score on bucks of their own. While we were out scouting, Caitlin spotted some turkeys off to the side of the road. Just for fun, she decided to see how close she could stalk up to them wearing her hex suit. As you can see, she was easily able to get inside a bow range before these birds decided to move off. We spent a few days scouting when we got there and we saw a lot of great bucks feeding in the big hay field. We picked out a likely ambush spot and set up a ground blind and the next morning we were ready to hunt. Well just as planned, several nice bucks came into the field and slowly fed in our direction. 
Well, you hear all the time that you should put your ground blind up a couple of weeks before the hunt so the deer can get used to it. But in this case, we didn't have that luxury. We popped it up the evening before and climbed in the next day. As you can see, with the deadly combination of hex technology and ozonic units, the deer didn't pay any attention at all to the blind. When one of the bucks got close enough for a shot, Caitlin was ready. You got him good, you got him good, Kate. Oh yes. It's hard, it's hard to sit there and like watch it, watch it, watch it. And then like, he gave me like that perfect shot and I took too long and he started walking. I was like, oh God. What a cool deer. Um, just a dandy buck. I mean, look at that dropper off the front. I know, he's unique, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you made a great shot on him and, and none of those deer had any idea we were there. Hex works again and, and you got a great buck, Kate, yeah. great buck. You know, every week we get hundreds of letters and emails from people all across the country who are eager to share their Hex experiences. I wanted to share a few of those with you today. This one comes from Chase Fulcher from Kentucky. Chase is a world-renowned bow hunter and author, and Chase writes, Being an extreme bow hunter, and have been for 30 years, I live to spot and stalk in tough conditions. I've used hex for five years. I've seen it make a significant difference in the calming of animals numerous times. Hex for me was a great help in me completing my 29 North American Super Slam. This one is from Don Adams from Ohio. Don's been a Hex fan for many years and he writes me every year. But this last year he said, Mike, here's another Adams County stud using Hex. Thanks for a great product. This is Don's fourth monster buck in a row wearing Hex. Well, I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss the Hex product line. First off is our basic Hex suit. This is the basic suit that's been used by hunters all around the world and had amazing success. It comes shirt, pant, and head cover all together. Very lightweight, very easy to use. You can use it as an underlayer or over. The Hex technology works either way. We tried to design this piece to be used in just about any hunting situation. The pants are cut kind of like sweatpants. They do have an elastic top, a drawstring, elastic cuffs on the bottom, and a fly and hip pockets in case you want to wear them as an outer layer. The shirt is basically a long sleeve t-shirt, but it does have thumb holes so it's easy to get on underneath, has surge stitching for added durability, and a nice embroidered hex logo. The head net has a laser cut eye hole, drawstring in the back. It's very simple and very easy to use. If you order right now and enter the promo code PURSUED, you'll save an instant $30 off your hex suit. As an added bonus, if you order right now with each purchase of a complete hex suit, you'll receive a certificate worth $250 off on a trip with Great Texas Hunts. We've saved the best for last, and it's coming up right after this. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. We're tagging along with three generations of slinkards on this episode, and so far two of them have scored on nice mealy bucks. Now let's catch up with host Mike Slinkard as he tries to make it a grand slam. Well, with a great buck on the ground for Caitlin, it's my turn behind the bow. Unfortunately, the weather turned bad and high wind and rain moved in. Deer movements dropped to a trickle, so late in the morning we decided to pack it in and head back to camp. Well, on the way back to the truck, we spotted some deer moving in the brush. They'd already seen us before we spotted them, but we were wearing hacks. Even though they watched us walk all the way up to them, they simply stood there and watched us, more curious than afraid. It was all I needed to get a range and find a hole to shoot through. We've heard from actual customers whose close-up experiences can't be explained by anything except the Hex technology. Don't you think it's time you ordered your own suit and started experiencing the same benefits? New for 2016, we are proud to bring you the new Hex Base Layer. The Base Layer is a lightweight, semi-thermal product that's made to be worn under your other hunting clothing, but has the Hex technology and the Hex Advantage woven right in. The base layer is three pieces, shirt, pant, and the head cover. 
The shirt is a quarter zip Henley with a hex logo embroidered. It does have serge stitching. Also has thumb holes so it's easy to get on underneath your other clothing. The pants are basic long underwear type pants. They do have serge stitching throughout. Elastic bands on the top, elastic on the bottom. Very easy to use, comfortable to wear under any of your favorite hunting clothing. For those of you out there that's been asking for a little bit heavier hex layer, this is the item for you. Check out the new hex base layer, brand new from Hex for 2016. And finally, we have our hex accessories. Our ball cap made out of the hex material, lightweight, very comfortable, one of the most comfortable caps you'll ever wear. New for 2016 is our hex socks. The socks are a heavyweight, over the calf sock, very durable. They're gonna be nice to wear in any kind of hunting situation. And of course, they have the hex technology woven right in. The hex gloves are a lightweight, stretchy material made for any hunting situation and are now available in Mossy Oak Camo. Hex technology is found in dealer stores nationwide. Check out our website for a dealer listing near you. Or you can always order direct from hexllc.com. That's H-E-C-S-L-L-C.com. Or call us direct at 541-575-HEX. That's 541-575-4327. You know, we have operators standing by, but we're very busy. If you get the answering machine, be sure to leave a message and leave your phone number and we'll be sure to get right back to you and get the Hex suit on the way. Hex technology is changing the way people hunt nationwide and all around the world. Don't delay, get online or give us a call today and get a Hex suit on the way. It's gonna change the way you hunt. If you order right now and enter the promo code PURSUED, you'll save an instant $30 off your Hex suit. As an added bonus, if you order right now with each purchase of a complete hex suit, you'll receive a certificate worth $250 off on a trip with Great Texas Hunts. Well, I hope you enjoyed following along with three generations of the Slinkards on today's show. My dad was able to score on a great muley buck after drawing and letting down three times before he got a shot. My daughter Caitlin shot a great buck from a ground blind we just set up and I was able to walk up and shoot one of my all-time best bucks from the ground. All of this was made possible in large part by Hex technology. When using our scientifically proven and patented technology, animals just don't seem to notice you and the encounters are closer and longer than ever before. I hope you have either the basic Hex suit or the new base layer for one of your hunts this fall. If you don't yet, make that call today. I can assure you it will be one of the best hunting investments that you make all year. In the meantime, the Hex crew will keep pushing the limits of our stealth screen technology and bringing it to you every week right here on Hunting with Hex. Closed captioning is provided by Connected Afield. Scout. Plan. Connect. If you have a great Hex encounter that you'd like to share with us, please contact us through our website. If we use it on the air, you'll be entered to win a hunt with great Texas hunts. As an added bonus with each Hex purchase, you'll receive a certificate worth $250 off on a trip with great Texas hunts. Get those pictures and video coming, and you could be the lucky winner of this great hunt. You can find out more on our website at hexllc.com.